Hey, this is Stephen Klein, and I've got Paige Clark, our holistic practitioner genius here to help us out with another great topic for your health, wellness, optimal health, and peak performance. Performance. And Paige, today we're going to talk about something called deuterium, the structure, how it affects and relates to structured water, healthy fats, dieting, how all of that kind of relates to itself, which most people, I wasn't aware yeah, of. Yeah, it kind of all comes together because when I saw this research or this article, you know, I sent it to you right away and, yeah. and, and this article that I kind of want to share with the listeners has uh, was written by Dr. Cowan and you know how much I love Dr. Tom mm-hmm. Cowan. You MD. love you some Dr. Cowan, I know. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Tom Cowan is a, a brilliant uh, medical doctor and organic farmer, but uh, he brought to my attention in this article the fact that um, vegetables impact the type of water we get and that then has an impact on the animals that eat the vegetables and ultimately us. And so, Stephen, there are recently two studies that were published in major peer review articles. Um, This was just in the past decade. Um, But in his opinion, and his opinion counts to me, uh, these were major breakthroughs in the use of natural medicine for the treatment of chronic disease. And one of them was published in the Journal of Cancer Therapy. This was back, oh, maybe about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, And it showed that men who had stage four prostate cancer, if they drank deuterium depleted water, and we'll define that in just a moment, all right? They had a mean survival time of close to 11 years, as opposed to historical norms of only 18 to 24 months. Insane. That's a significant increase in the amount of time, and we'll look at why that might be. The second study I wanted to share with you was published in the prestigious medical journal Hypothesis, and this was just last year. Mm-hmm. And they proved that eating a ketogenic diet improves cellular energy generation, and you know this because you are really good at your ketogenic diet compliance. Yep. Um, and it improves the generation of energy because – the metabolized fats have an ability to generate deuterium depleted water in our tissues. So now you're going to ask the question, what is? De- well, before I ask what deuterium is and how it relates to water is the ketogenic diet, just to describe that is a diet that's high in healthy fats, not any fats, but healthy fats, low in carbohydrates, anything that causes an insulin spike and a moderate amount of healthy proteins from great sources so that's well and a ketogenic diet is actually a diet where you are uh learning to burn fat as your fuel ideally we want to be dual fuel burners and primarily fat so why was this significant research or why did dr cowan think this was significant right you know what it really is it's important to understand how diet correction can affect our health Mm -hmm. so deuterium is a naturally occurring isotope of hydrogen Mm mm-hmm and it actually weighs twice as much as the hydrogen uh, because it has an extra neuron or, you know, neutron. that's not present. Yep. Yeah, that's right. not present. Yeah, yeah. Uh, neutron, sorry. It's okay. um, but because the deuterium water is electrically identical to hydrogen, um, it can bind to oxygen. So we actually produce a different kind of water. They call it D2AMO, you know, deuterium oxide, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, Um, It seems a little bit like normal water. It has properties that differ from normal water, uh, such as a higher freezing point. They actually kind of call it heavy water, okay? Mm -hmm. But so even though it's found naturally, um, we cannot incorporate it into that gel-like water that we at Theragoods produce with our systems. The gel-like or easy water, this cannot be incorporated um, therefore, once deuterium reaches a certain concentration in our cells, our ability to generate energy actually goes down. So that's why it's good to have deuterium depleted water, meaning not so much competitive deuterium in the water to compete right. with, the, with the lighter, powerful hydrogen molecule and the mitochondria and the mitochondria's ability to you know to perform goes down and the article that you were one of the articles you were referencing actually the title which confused me was that the vegetables green vegetables specifically excrete the heavy water and i was like what does that mean so you just explained that beautifully beautifully yeah well well you know they're finding out that these these uh effects are increasingly being um 
uh, associated with diseases, diabetes, cancer, heart disease, to name a few. Mm -hmm. um, and what's the bottom line, he says, is that rising deuterium levels in the water in our cells is the hallmark of aging and deteriorating body. So yep. you and I saw this and we learned all this at the, one of the last conferences and you didn't get to meet Dr. Cowan because he wasn't at the uh, ketogenic conference where we, we right. learned about deuterium depleted water. But we're gonna learn more and we'll be looking at this because it's actually something you can do you know, you still need to have clean water, but it's kind of like an additive. But sure. the exciting thing, Stephen, about these findings is it is an active attempt to uh, help us lessen the deuterium levels in our bodies. And it has profound effects in preventing disease and metabolic aging. And that's, I mean, let's face it, uh, most of us are baby boomers today. <laughs> you know, we're riding mm -hmm. that tide. And, and so there's two primary ways we can lower the deuterium. Mm -hmm. You want to share one of those? Yes. So one is by drinking magic or magic water, <laughs> structured water, four phase water, easy water, which we get through the filtration we have with our their H2O. And there are other sources of it as well, but that structured water is really important. And then you mentioned also that well, also if you eat um, if correct. you eat a diet which is uh, comes from predominantly uh, animal fair. foods that are eating vegetables grass-fed in a wide variety of vegetables, especially the green vegetables, uh, it turns out that the chloroplast or what actually, um, you know, the chlorophyll and the chloroplast yep. in green plants excrete deuterium, deplete, deuterium from their tissues and that leaves the green plants naturally yep. depleted. So mm -hmm. they've got the, so that there's more hydrogen available to fit into the cells versus the competitor, which is deuterium. Right. And the so same, when an animal eats a diet based on grass-fed exactly. and vegetables, it's right. going to produce a healthier right. animal food. So boom, they go hand in hand. Well, that's phenomenal news for optimal health, peak performance, and what we talked about with their H2O. So Paige, thanks for sharing that article. We have more to come. And we look forward to sharing awesome information like this from someone that, like Paige that just finds stuff that most people aren't going to come across in their daily life. And thanks to Dr. Cowan for sharing mm -hmm. this great information. It just gives us a, a more support to understanding that having structured water that can get into our cells and help us produce more energy is important. So mm -hmm. optimal health. Peak performance. See you, buddy. <laughs>